Hello students, today we are going to see that how we can interpret the XRD data of doping any pure semiconductor oxide materials. So in order to understand and interpret the XRD data, let us first see that how many ki kinds and types of doping can occur in any pure material. Here on the left side you can see that we have a dopant ion or atom which is represented by this yellow circle and this is the crystal structure with the blue and gray atoms. So if we have a larger atom or large dopant ion then what will happen that it can not substitute any of the gray and the blue colored atoms in the crystal structure and what it can do it can go in between any of these interstices in this whole crystal structure. So when this happens, then there is a kind of stress introduced in the lattice or crystal, which is called as the tensile stress. That is, you can see these arrows towards outside. And this is called as the tensile stress because of the larger dopant atom or ion inside the crystal structure. And when this happens, we see the peaks of the XRD data, they shift towards the lower angle as we will see uh, later. On the other hand, if you have a dopant ion or metal atom that is smaller in size as compared to the atoms of the crystal structure that are already present in the lattice, then what happens that because of a smaller size, we have a compressive stress introduced into this crystal structure and this smaller atom it can actually substitute any one of the gray and the blue atoms inside the crystal structure and that blue atom for example it comes outside it goes outside into one of the interstices of the crystal structure and we have this kind of compression or compressive stress inside the lattice and whenever this happens we have a shifting of the peaks in xrd that is towards the higher angle. So now let us see the XRD of one pure semiconductor oxide which is doped with a dopant ion uh, labeled as the X. So here on the bottom line you can see this black line which is the XRD of the pure titanium oxide and as you can see uh, the upward line with the red, blue, purple and green one these are the XRD spectrums or spectra of uh, the titanium oxide which is doped with the X and the concentration of X is increasing as we are going upward. So the first thing to interpret in the XRD data is the shifting of the peak. Now here you can see that this red line when we have doping with the X, X of X in the titanium oxide, this peak is shifted towards the lower angle. It is shifted towards the left side and when we have the shift towards the left, the left side it is because of the substitution and doping and which is causing the compressive stress as we have seen earlier. Now as you move upward that is you increase the concentration of the dopant or the X you see that this peak is again starting to shift towards the higher angle and here you can see this peak is again shifting towards uh, the pure titanium oxide peak that is towards the right side as compared to this red peak. So again here you can see as the concentration of the dopant is increasing, the peak is shifting to the higher angles and that might be because uh, now the instead of substitutional doping we are having the interstitial doping because the amount of the dopant is increasing. And we have also seen that it is because of the larger ion. If we have a larger ion or the larger dopant atom, then this peak also shifts to the uh, higher angles. So this is one of the things which we interpret in the XRD data that is the shifting of peaks. In addition, we can also see that there is a widening of the peaks which is occurring after doping. And this widening actually occurs because of the change in the lattice parameter in the crystal lattice because of the dopant ion when we incorporate some dopant ion then we also see the widening of the peaks in the xrd the third thing that you want to see in the xrd is uh, the upward shift of this 
baseline a little bit upward shift you can see in the XRD spectra of the dopant uh, compounds and this upward shift is because of the amorphicity which is introduced due to the uh, doping or the, the incorporation of any foreign metal ion into the pure crystal structure. The fourth thing that you want to see uh, after doping is the intensity of these peaks. As you can see the intensity of peak is also different and if you have the sharp peaks then it shows that you have increased in the crystallinity of the sample after doping and if the peaks are, uh, are not sharp and they are broad and uh, widened then it means that the crystallinity of the sample is decreasing due to the uh, incorporation of foreign ions or because of the doping. So these are the four things that you see in the XRD uh, after doping with certain metal or ions. And that is how you explain the XRD spectra of the dopant material as compared to the pure material. Thank you.